Hi, this is Ryan from Tilt 5, here to go over the slight differences of running the Tilt 5 plugin with Unreal 5.1. So we've shown how to use Unreal 4.27, uh, and as of uh, June 2023, we do not yet have Unreal 5.2 support. Uh, we also do not have DirectX 12 support, so this will be mostly uh, those workarounds with the beta, uh, but we will notify uh, the community as soon as both of those are ready for testing. Uh, so we've already shown how to install the Tilt 5 Unreal plugin into the engine directory for 4.27. You follow the same steps for Unreal 5.1. First you find the install directory for Unreal 5.1, go to engine and plugins, and then make sure that there's a marketplace folder. Uh, if you need to create it, uh, go ahead and create that folder called marketplace, and then drop the Tilt 5 plugin into that folder, uh, and you're done. Now you can go ahead and create a project just like normal in Unreal 5.1. Uh, here I've created the new vehicle template uh, to try out a quick driving game. So once your project is created, you must enable the Tilt 5 plugin like before. So here we go to Plugins, uh, search for Tilt 5, and then enable it. In my case, I've already got it enabled, uh, but if you uh, were to enable this for the first time, it will ask to confirm uh, if you want to enable the beta plugin. Now, the main step, the most critical part here that will make your game work and not crash uh, is that we actually need to switch from DirectX 12 to DirectX 11. So here we go into uh, Project Settings, um, and we're looking for the default RHI. Uh, so you can go to the top, and you can type in RHI, uh, or if you need to uh, scroll down and see where that actually is, uh, we can go on the left and take a look for uh, Platforms. Windows, and then you'll see right here is the uh, target RHI's default RHI. Uh, I have it set to DirectX 11, but usually it would start at 12, and then when you switch it to 11, uh, it will recompile all of your shaders, uh, and that can take some time. Um, so this will disable some of the more advanced Unreal 5 features, uh, but the engine still looks and functions great, uh, and we will be working on that support um, as soon as possible. So finally, I just want to call out that the uh, input system from before uh, has been deprecated. Uh, it is still functional, uh, but uh, if you go to the input system uh, right here, uh, you'll see that it says, uh, we recommend that you use the advanced input action system. Um, so you can still use the old axis mappings uh, and input mappings uh, from this screen, but they're deprecated, so it's possible that they'll get rid of them later. Um, in my case, uh, I did get them set up so that I can use throttle uh, and uh, steer with the, uh, the thumbstick. Um, and I can't quite find where I did that. But... Uh, that is something that we showed in the original video. Uh, it is still possible, or you can use the input actions, uh, the enhanced input actions that they've they've done. It uses a different set of files um, called this uh, IMC default. Uh, this would look familiar. It has all of the uh, the input actions wired up to their respective buttons, uh, and then the actual actions themselves each get their own little file. Uh, so they create a, a folder for input actions. Uh, they're very simple. Um, it basically is just creating the, the reference. Uh, and so that is their new enhanced input action system. I'm not going to go over the setup here, uh, but there are some tutorials on it that go over it uh, for Unreal 5.1 and 5.2. Um, so I recommend taking a look at those. Uh, and so now the only thing left is to play this quick game real quick. Uh, I wouldn't want to not show the demo that we made in the last 90 seconds. So here we're going to change the world to meters. Um, 3,000 looks like a good number. And we go to VR preview. So there you go. I've got a Unreal 5.1 driving sample game. Uh, we've got it running inside the glasses, uh, and we wired in uh, throttle is forward um, on the thumbstick, which is the, the positive Y direction. Uh, turning is uh, left and right, uh, ne is negative X and positive X um, on, the, on the thumbstick as well. Uh, and so we've got the project running, and I hope this was informative. Uh, if you want to download the Unreal plugin from our website, uh, you can do that today and uh, drop it into your directory and start run working with these Unreal 5.1 projects. Uh, so hope you enjoy that and uh, have a good day.